Welcome to the third annual Big Law Business Summit. I think there's going to be change. There's going to be disruption. I don't think it's going to mean the end of, of law firms. In uh, Mary Jo's case, she's been hired by Deb Avoys and Plimpton a total of six times. And I can tell you as an expert in this field that that is both a world record and an Olympic record. What we're trying to do with this is not just scare the bejesus out of everybody, uh, which there's plenty of material to work with. I'm scary enough, aren't but I? It, the hiring test I would like to employ, which I've never had the guts to do, is to put out a piece of trash in the parking lot and watch lawyers come in and then just kind of observe as to whether they pick it up or, or, or not. I think it's still societal pressures or norms that are still there. So if I see um, a young male associate who's doing well, they're often, you know, driven to keep doing well and make partner or go off to go in-house and have a successful career. And their, their focus is really that. There's never really this option of kind of jumping out of that altogether. So I call this lawyer. He's in a big firm. I, I assume he's asked everybody in his firm that has anything to do with this. Well, the lawyer on the other side is afraid to do that, okay? He's afraid to do that because he knows if he calls all the people whose specialties have anything to do with this, when he sends you that bill, you're going to yell at him. Just on your point, though, on trash, you know, if there was trash out <laughs> yeah. in the parking lot now, if you were Venable or Latham, the lawyers would pick up the trash and they'd throw it away. <laughs> Our competitors out there would also pick up the trash, but they'd bill you for it. I think we'll look back on the speech that you gave, uh, I think in your last couple of days in office at the SEC about the politicization of the agency and how dangerous that is. And indeed you point out in particular in enforcement, in the enforcement arena, uh, I'm a Hamilton fan and I've become a lot more familiar with the George Washington farewell speech. That speech to the country is what your speech will be to, to those who follow the SEC, I think one day. The, the younger lawyers who, uh, in the past, sort of did some of this more commoditized work. Um, there's going to be less of it, and uh, sustaining the kind of pyramid model mm -hmm. that uh, that supports both uh, the practice and the economics of big law firms is going to be under stress. Why is it that every time uh, a lawyer leaves public service, leaves a government job where they've worked incredibly long hours, stressful hours, enforcing the government's uh, rules and regulations? Um, where they're being paid less than a fourth-year associate. Every time that happens, there's an article that uses the term revolving door in a very ominous tone. So have any of you heard of what's called transport layer security? This wow. is something that everybody should write down. When you see female associates, um, if they're in a situation sometimes um, where they don't necessarily have to do what we do for a living from a financial standpoint, I think it is a little easier for them to look at someone like me and go, like, I don't want that life. <laughs> you know, she works her ass off, she's never home, she travels all the time, and I don't really need that. And in, unless you're driven and kind of wired that way to want that, it's just a little easier still, I think, to step out of that. But on the other hand, the client might assume that by having sent, sent the question that it's a big firm. They're taking care of everything. I just assumed they knew that they should check every angle to it. So one of the things I would just point out is to be, it's important to be super clear. And I, I actually think that uh, uh, Washington would do well to read that speech and to hearken back to the days when the SEC was one of the gems of Washington because it was an agency of expertise, not an agency of politicians. So I hope we can get back there. That's against a backdrop where I'm, I just still think there's, there's a lot of a lot of law firms in this country, and it's not clear to me that that all of them are going to make it through kind of this post-crisis cycle and the consolidation that I'm convinced is still going to come. Uh, I, th I think it's a it's a wonderful image. It's a you know you see that door revolving around, but I also think it's monumentally unfair. Um, and I think instead of criticizing people on going on their way out, we should be um, applauding them on their way in. Uh, so as a company, for example, we're saying to our law firms, to Wachtell, to Cravath, to Davis Polk and the like, that we want you to set up essentially a trunk line on the internet just between our company and the lawyers who will be interacting with the lawyers at Wachtell, for example, and then Wachtell sets up the same trunk line going back. And oh, we'll look forward to the musical. I'm, I'm younger than sure. <laughs> yes. I'm so I'm back five and a half hours later.
I hope everybody heard something today that they really feel that they can take back to their offices and think about the future of the legal profession and the business of law. So I'm the only person now standing between you and a drink.